What's up my friends, welcome back, my name is Daily Fix, and we are continuing a Mountain Blade 2 banner law. I'm still finding myself saying Warband quite often. So, in between, in between uh, the last stream and the recorded episodes in that stream, uh, this is actually just a recording. As you can see, we managed to get up to 15.7k and... In terms of inventory, we have some raw, we have some heights over here, we got some stuff that we need to, uh, break down. Ah, uh, not too much fighting, but basically what I am doing, at least what I figure out doing is, is getting out like, iron and, and sheep, and then going here selling them somewhere else. Now, I'm sure there is a bunch of trade routes, a bunch of trade routes that you can find on the internet that will absolutely help. But I don't think we're that far in the game yet. Although, yeah, I'm not sure. But uh, we are at a point where... Uh, yeah, actually, I also fought a Sea Raider party, which was... They were quite strong. So I think it is time. And I think it is time that we head out over here. We... I don't think I want to trade anything else. What kind of quests are here? Overpriced raw materials? And the ghost associate kept it, but no, no, no. Let us go and walk around the town. So I decided not to turn off my webcam. Why? Because, why not? I've been using it so much lately, so might as well just continue that. We're currently in version 1.0.10, and it is time. Hmm, sometimes these shadows are a bit weird. And especially when you kick on the sand. Also, I don't, also, I don't think you've seen, but uh, the Iron Saber, I uh, I won in a tournament. Yes, I, I'm not sure if I uh, recorded that. But we did win it, which was absolutely brilliant. I don't like the audio here. Let's turn this up, like to 80. Because I'm I'm missing I'm I'm missing some of the um of the music. I was kinda hoping. I was kinda hoping with the the coming of um of Banalore that where the hell am I walking through? Um let's go there. Uh that with the coming of Banalore we would get more music. I've always felt that the uh, the the music in in the in the Mountain Blade series has been on a quid of a bit of a low, um, not in terms of quality, but um, it's the amount. I was kind of hoping for more. More amounts would have been absolutely great. So let's head on over here to this wool weavery, and let's get ourselves our very first enterprise. Uh, here's the, uh, the the goat association, but the wool weavery is over here. So, hello there. Um, I would like to buy this shop. 14,810, yes. And I want to make this into a wood shop. Strong wood, uh, hardwood has many uses. Craftsmen take hardwood here and uh, fashion bow, bows, arrows and shields from them. There uh, needs to be a comma, I believe there. Bows, arrows and shields from them. Are you sure you want to be opening a wood workshop? Yes. So we have paid and let's exit out. Now, you will not make money right away. And if you go to your clan tab, I believe that in other, there is now a carpenter. So the, the capital is 10,000. So he makes 10,000, actually he has 10,000 and the daily wage is 25 and we're going to be seeing how quickly he can turn it around into a profit so let's leave here for now let's head on over to actually let's head over towards austria then legata and head on over to sargot charnas and yakulan and see what we can actually find there. So far, so far, guys, I'm absolutely loving, loving the trade. It's um, it's fresh. It is uh, definitely fresh. Let's let's get you up to I don't know fifty, fifty, and then get the solium to forty. 
Something like this. Yeah, I, I do want you to guys to hear the music. Oh yeah, now we actually hear something, which is quite nice. And you would think that I would do this off camera, wouldn't you? <laughs> How mistaken you were. No, I always do these things at the most impossible uh, time. So, there's some looters here. So what we've been doing is actually auto bell uh, auto uh, auto battling, auto battling, yes. And we actually got ourselves a horse rider, and I messed up with an imperial bowman, which I don't like to have. But once we get ourselves a not a veteran archer, here you go. We need to have a war horse, and you have none. So we need some war horses, and we'll have our very first archer. A mounted archer and I've been hearing that these guys are absolutely insanely overpowered let's see oil all of salt vinegars and I wonder how much he's actually going to lose for me but we'll see that just in time so the height is wow definitely not what I want to be selling over here but the clay is also not too cheap the Hawks. The Hawks actually have a good price. 41. That's... I think if we buy... Till 50, we should be fine. Oh, actually, I don't have the money. Yes, I'm in a position. <laughs> I used to have so much money, and now... Now I have none. 15 for 44. Uh, is there an... Tournament, no. Let's go back, let's leave over here, and let's head on out towards... You know what, let's go straight over there. There's some um, forest, forest bandits. They are very scary. I, I really think they're scary. Because they, they will barrage you with arrows. And I don't like that. So we've been fighting for about 14 troops. And it's been going really nice. There's actually an howler there with four parties. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of parties. Let's take a look here. What can we trade for you? Uh, no, definitely not. Anything else? That spots. Oh, actually, that we notice. No, Hawksford. The sheep are really expensive. They're they're good priced over here. So if you buy them in the in the north. Buy the sheep in the north. You can actually just sell them over here. You can make a good route if you just sell uh, livestock. It's been absolutely great. Do not be confused by this. Because your food will go up because you actually have that livestock in your inventory. So 54 or 53. So we would be making money over here. Let's see. Uh, pottery. Pottery is cheap. Let's buy up to... Ah, oh, damn it. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Let's not buy anything. The leather... I've seen better prices. Velvet that you can actually get for under 100. So we're getting close to where we should be selling our stuff. Let's head on over there. A bit faster though. Let's take a look and again in our clan. So the total income. He has already provided us with 23. I think that next tick he will make more. I do hope so. So I was actually hoping that. They would change the way the enterprises work. That you would actually have to look into the surroundings. Look what the other villages are producing. In order for you to. Um. Uh, to sell. Oh man, these heights are still like 60. Let's see. Zekona for 100. So we can actually get a good price. Mm, Rotea, that's all in the north. Sheba are getting fairly priced. Oh man, I, I can look at these things, but I just don't have the money. The reason why you want to go and visit all of these towns is they, they become part of your suggestion of where you want to get that stuff. You want, you want to 
uh, sell that stuff over there. So that would that would actually be quite nice. Um, can we do smithing right now? I don't think I have the money. Hides are really cheap over here. Damn. Hides are very cheap in here. Remember that, guys. Let's see. Hides. Yes. That is really, really cool. That is some nice pricing. Furs as well. How about leather? Leather is always expensive. Which is weird. At least to me. Sheep. Very, very good price for sheep. And it's just this this route. This is what you'll do. And I've seen pictures. Yes, I have seen them as well. Amazing routes. Amazing. I can never remember those long, long routes. Let's see. What's the uh, the thing? Well, net balance is still negative 22. So it will be taking you a few days to actually make a profit. And there was some sea raiders as well. Hides at 60. Hawks at 21. Oh shit, really? Oh damn. Oh that's sweet. So buy hawks over here. And then buy sheep over there. Let's go to the orc hall. This this country has been... I think they it, it's the biggest one. Is it... What kind of thing is it again? Uh, it's the... The Dai Tinna, or whatever. Okay, interesting. I really like that so many... Oh, there we go. We had nothing to eat and we slaughtered one of our animals. It's usually not what I want, even though... Prices for meat aren't that bad. Let's, uh, let's sell our hide so we have a bit more money and get ourselves a tiny bit of grain. Let's uh, lock that on. Now, I don't want to buy any hawks over here. Hardwood, flax, clay at 14. I've seen definitely better prices than this. And it's just one gold that you'll be making. That, that is not a lot. That is not a lot. Let's leave over here. And head on over there. Let's um, take a look. Still negative 22. Well, at least it does provide me now with a bit of money. Uh, the wages are higher. Oh, 10 sea raiders. That is scary. I don't like that. Hogs, meat, grain. Yeah, that ain't interesting at all. Flax. Oh, flax for 8? Buy, buy, buy that stuff. You don't care how much. You can buy it up to 10. You will make a very, very ama um, nifty amount of profit. Let's go to car bencher. Let's hope that we do not get attacked. Some looters there. Net change now negative 17. So the prices go up. It will take you a bit. The mountain bandits apparently don't feel too interested about attacking me. Which is um, somewhat interesting. Uh, they could kill me. Easily. And we apparently gained a level. Because we are riding. I do think my combat stats are still low. So let's increase that up to 4. 3, 3, 2. Let's see. All of it is now in 3. And I think we'll go for the town merchant. Less wages for the workshops right now. And we'll get another point into archery. Let's go trade. 25. Flax for 13. I think we should be... If we see like 20, we'll sell it. We'll double up on our, on our money. Uh, the hogs itself... Extremely cheap. And we'll buy another 5. Let's leave over here and let's... You know, let's head on out. Let's head on towards... I think we can sell them over here. So it's it's like you're passing through. Let's go to this area. 
Oh, you would just dare, didn't you? He dared. You saw that. He was like, yeah, let's take you. Let's take you. And I can imagine, I can imagine you guys, you, you're all coming from Warband, right? And you're playing this game and you're like, no! Why? Why is it like this? Why do I have to do all of these, these things that I don't want to do? Because usually you would just get a bunch of recruits, level them up. You would get more than enough money from killing looters. It just doesn't work like that anymore. Let's see, because you can actually, by the way, you can actually see in the price, you see the Hawks now, 61, flag 14. So you can just keep track of your inventory, you don't have to go into towns necessarily, you can just get in your inventory and just spot the prices. I'm, I would be content with 61 though, for Hawks, even though we bought them for the maximum of 50, because I'm, I'm a dumbass as well and I learn every day. Let's see, Hawk 71, flag for 20. Hey, what did I say? Doubling up, guys. That's all about there is. That's 19. Hey, we can go up. We can drop all the way down. We don't have to care about it. Yes, we'll make more and somewhere else. That's about it. We get 1700 back in return. Let's take a look here. Trade value. Sheep are just too expensive still. Mm, hardwood, flax, salt, clay, nah, nah, we don't take that stuff, there we go, and just travel, travel along the map, and we'll get that, we got, he's got two recruits, four recruits, he's been doing good, more recruits, he sold the stomper horse and some other stuff, you can also um, get these deals from these um, villages, uh, villages tend to go to the big towns, and there, uh oh, oh no, um, how much would they be willing, oh wow, no, 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 they, they will not let Griff go, let's see how this actually works, ooh, Okay, I think I need to fill up that uh, that thing. Can I not just click the amount? And I will gladly pay all of this. There you go, offer. The barter offer has accepted. Will they let my me and my uh, my party go? Well, apparently they did. Hey, I'm still, I'm still completely supporting it. We can still make a lot of money. Let's go ahead. Sheep, still too expensive. Don't buy them at that price. You can buy them, I think, around 40 or so. They're just going to stand there until I come back, don't they? Damn it, I hate that. Is there something over here? No, there is nothing to do over there. Let's go to the next town. And let's take another look here. Other. Yes. Negative four. He's making 44 now. So we're almost spending nothing on the maintenance of our workshop. And that's actually the goal for the episode is to show you how long it actually takes for you to make a profit. And so there we go. Daily gold status. Negative 44. And... It, it's not, it's actually, that's not true what I say. It is until you actually make enough for your entire party. Why didn't I like that? Let's see. There we go. So we'll still get some money here. Sheep, too expensive. Let's go somewhere else. Let's leave. Let's go over to this area. Oh, there is some wars going on still. Yeah, I would not be the one to go fighting those towns. Oh, are you going to be attacking me? That would have been really shitty. We could also sell... Oh, yeah, look at these prices. So the, um, the SRI horses, you can surely get for about 
seven to eight hundred you can sell them over here for for a good for a good buck mm. the iron ore for 32 let's do 30 uh, let's buy up until 40. there you go 40. And you can also, you can see that we would be able to sell that in Orcs Hall for 83. Where the, where the hell is Orcs Hall? Orcs Hall is probably... Yes, here. So you have your trade routes going from one side to the other one. And not bad at all. So we need to get into... I think this territory to get those sheep which would be weird because you would consider sheep to be you know somewhere over here where it's green but who am I I'm probably mistaken all the way come on next day I want to see a profit mate make me money and we're making 12 we are finally making making money every day Let's see, what can we get here? Iron for 40, nobody cares. A sheep for 40, here we go. So, we've seen them, we can sell them for over 100. So, get your sheep over here. Uh, cotton. Iron or no furs. Yeah, there are some cool prizes for furs, but they usually don't last. But get them up to, I don't know, like 50? And be a bit conservative about what you buy. You don't need a million of that same item. You can get a bunch of them. Let's see. No, the rest is definitely not worth it. Uh, it's a shame that we cannot afford it. So let's give some sheep back. Since we're now making money, I'm actually um, not too worried to go into a negative. And what we'll do is... We'll head on out towards Rodea. We just bypass everything and we'll just head on over there. And I don't mind killing some looters on the way. I just want to do this uh, this one road. So a lot of uh, mountain bandits and sea raiders. And there's a sea raider hideout. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Oh boy, that is scary. Some forest bandits. And we can actually make our very stuff over here first. In Agoron? Agoron. Sure. I really like this. I like to see my money go upwards instead of downwards. Hawks for 61. I do want to get rid of them. Let's just sell them. At first, here we go. So we had we bought them for what? 50? And now we sold them for a, for over a um, for over a thousand. And the iron ore, it is expensive over here. But looking at the prices, yeah, we'll sell two. So we made fourteen. The sheep are still way too cheap. So you can actually make smaller trade routes. And we're getting close towards where they. Let's go to this area over here. I know, I know. You've seen trade. You see me trade a lot, but. It's kind of how the game goes, and until we can sustain ourselves, we will just have to do just that. And we're still we're still making money. We're making sixty five per per tick. So its capital is increasing. I do hope that we eventually can change the amount of people working there. Cheap for 66, that's definitely not worth it. Like I said, we're going towards that area. And uh, once I'm there and the prices are crap, I will end the video. What I will do is, because I, I do usually, I, I stream this quite a bit right now. And if you want to see me just, uh, and, and you know, interact with me, hop on over to Twitch and follow me over there. Uh, links are always in the description. Let's take a look over here. 
And we'll just do some casual gaming because here you go, a 115. I will not, I don't want my price to go lower than a hundred. As for the iron price, I don't like that price, so no. And uh, let's go to Rodea. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you have enjoyed. Uh, I know that I am enjoying every every second in this game. And that's why I, I enjoy the streaming at the moment a lot more than just the recording. Because I have the, the interaction with you as well. So let's take a look over here. Iron off 72. I don't want to go below 60. There we go. So we'll make 1200. We've doubled up on money. And, ooh, yeah, that, let's undo that, please. So we know that we can just sell all of this. There you go. Iron ore. And Hawk 66, that's too expensive. So, there we go, we made 4,000. How much did we start at this video? I don't know. Anyways, have a good one, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.